Sonic Boom! Big Sleater, give this one the benefit of the doubt. It's the first Sonic game. No, fuck you. You knew exactly what you were doing. You were trying to piss me off. You ever kill a man? Ew, what the hell? Let me set the scene. It's 2013. You just got finished, uh, going downstairs to get your fucking Christmas present. And your parents say, I bought you a Sega Genesis. Let's go into the back to play it. So you walk into the back and there's a big ass fucking box with Super Mario 3D World taped on the front because they couldn't bother wrapping that. And you realize you got a Wii U. Fuck you, Sega. But that was my introduction into the world of Sonic. Actually, it wasn't. It was my introduction to Genesis, though. You know, as a kid, this was the shit. But if I was ever given this now, I'd kill the gifter than myself. But it was kind of cool owning what could be considered an actual Genesis. Told all my friends at school, y'all might have PS4s and Drew over there has an Xbox. But I got a fucking Sega Genesis, motherfucker. But actually, before then, my father had Sonic's Ultimate Genesis collection on PS3. I have no idea where that fucking disc went but it's gone but that would be my gateway into the world of damn it go back if you know me personally you would know that this is probably my least favorite in the entire series not that it's like a terrible fucking game like as bad as some of the series worse like sonic 4 but it's just i I don't know, I just never replay this if I was forced to or made videos on it or anything. If it's in a collection, I typically skip it on the collection. See, back in my day, the worst 2D classic Sonic game was often considered to be Sonic CD, you know, with its crackhead level design. And I was in the majority of the Sonic CD slander, but with a replay and a Sonic Sucks episode, I had the balls to say, wow, this game is actually pretty darn good, and Sonic 1 moved down to the worst 2D classic Sonic game. But hey, maybe I was wrong and I misjudged a game like Sonic CD. Maybe it's time we look back on Sonic 1 and see it for what it is and what it isn't. And what it isn't is good. This game looks stunning as hell though. Get the fuck out of the way, Mario. Sonic has something up his sleeve and it's parallax scrolling, motherfucker. All the Sonic Genesis games look good in general. The sprite work on these games is next level, especially for the early 90s. Except for Sonic 3, because of the Sonic night. ever entered my house, I think I might go into cardiac arrest. I'm gonna get you. But especially with Sonic CD, these games are absolutely stunning. Imagine turning this game on for the first time when it came out, and this this shit would fucking knock your socks off, probably. But yeah, Birth of the Antichrist, right. Green Hill again, man? Sonic has been mad stale lately. I think the take on Green Hill here is fine enough. Like, I think it's done better in other games, but for first level for an entire game series, this is phenomenal. Bias put all the way aside, this is one of the best ways to introduce your pinball physics platforming game. Haha, <laughs> triple P. It's not the greatest level Sonic has ever produced. Like, City Escape is like right there, you're looking right at it. But it is amazing they hit it out of the park first try. The sense of speed is great and the small platforming sections you get actually reward you with fun slopes and loops to gain speed with. And it was weird after beating the boss, the game sends signals to your brain which trigger a neurotic reaction that makes you get up and reset the game. I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I'm gonna beat the bush. Marble Zone sucks. Not because it's a poorly designed zone, but it's because it's in the wrong game which makes it a poorly designed zone. Like, if this was a Mario zone, this would probably be fine. But dude, this is Sonic the Hedgehog. I've never felt so impatient with my life. This level also features a ton of bullshit, but I'm not the one to complain about bullshit because someone's ought to call a skill issue. But yeah, Marble Zone, good Mario level, doo doo ass Sonic level. And welcome to the obligatory Sonic music session. Of course, the music's fucking good. You get a short but sweet jingle when Sonic wags his finger that screams, I ain't no fucking Italian bitch. Then Green Hill comes in, not being a hard hitter, but giving you the illusion that you're having a good time. Then you get to the boss. This is the shit that makes you realize this motherfucker means business, I think. After that, Marble Zone comes in with his mid-ass track, in my opinion, and Spring Yard Zone. Yeah, damn! Best track in the game, hands down. The zone is kinda eh, though. The token casino level of this game. It's not as bad as Marble Zone, but it's not really that great either. It's pretty... average. I'll give it this. For being a more speed-focused level, it balances speed and platforming pretty well. It's just kind of annoying how, like, enemies will just fucking stop you, and it, it's not really that great. Also, it's kind of the most boring-looking level in the game. Like, it doesn't look bad, it's just boring-looking. It's not a deal-breaker, but... I don't know, I had to mention it. But yeah, it was alright. I hope the rest of the game captures a better blend of platforming and speed, because it would kind of suck if, like, they went back to Marble Zone, or just made Marble Zone work. Merriam-Webster classifies a bitch as the female of the dog or some other carnivorous mammals. It also classifies it as Zone 4 of Sonic 1. This is the Dylan from 5th grade of Sonic levels. Take Marble Zone and put it underwater. That's a Labyrinth Zone. And it fucking sucks! Imagine Sega as a company if Labyrinth Zone was never in the game. See, exactly. Nothing changed, but Sonic 1 would be a better game. It's annoying. It's slow. It's a... Bad. 
I, I don't know. I can't really think of any other adjectives that are negative. I've never met a single person who says, oh yeah, Labyrinth Zone, that's a pretty swell part of Sonic 1. No, everyone's saying, oh yeah, Labyrinth Zone, that makes me want to shut the entire fucking game off, and it's also fucking ass shit, ass bad, stupid fucking bad level. Sorry, guys. I'm being melodramatic over a 7 out of 10 game. I'll move on, because I couldn't even bother to finish the level. Spring Yard is the best zone in the game. Did I just... The... Okay, Sleater. Okay, I see how it is. It's not really anything to gawk about. It's just a really fucking good zone. It's like Yuji Naka gave you a pat on the back for playing a ton of mediocre. It's a pleasant looking stage too. Nothing crazy going on, but the nice guy really sells the level. It just sucks that you have to play so much bad to get one of the best levels in the entire fucking game. And Scrap Rain isn't all too bad either. Dude, fuck this game. I hope Yuji Naka gets arrested. I just entered hell. But after that, that's the final bot. Holy shit, really? You played like two zones. I'm sorry, two good zones. It's easy. Like all the bosses in the game. Granil has the big ball thing that will hit you if you get really impatient. They reuse it in like every single time they're trying to fucking say like, oh, guys, look, it's the, it's the old thing. Marble zone got hit, jump, hit, jump. Spring yard steals the ground like, whoa, I'm so scared. Fuck! Labyrinth's boss is the wild goose chase. Spring yard zone is- I wrote spring yard. Why am I- why was I being- when did I fucking write this? Then final zone comes in and bees all- It's fucking easy. Shit, the game ended. Big Sleater! Yeah? You forgot the special stages! Oh yeah. They're not really that good. And that's Sonic 1. Eh, not the worst thing in the world, but it's like unseasoned chicken. It won't kill you, but your throat might fucking feel like it is. I wouldn't recommend this game. I just kind of say if you really want to go through all the fucking Sonic games, you, you, you can. It's not like, it's not going to kill you. Like I said earlier with the unseasoned chicken thing. But join us next time where I take yet another month making a small ass video I could have finished a month ago. But I didn't because I just said I had more important things. I was just sitting at my desk watching YouTube videos.